learning about different styles in iconography can be really helpful to our development as icon painters, iconographers. There are many styles. Two main ones for this video, uh, Russian and Greek style. What are, learn what are the differences uh, in those two uh, styles. This is Basha, Edinburgh School of Icon Painting. Welcome to this video. Uh, we have many different styles and icono in iconography, like I said before. Some of them are could be very similar and there are some that are very, very different, very unique. Uh, these styles develop depending on the region. Uh, the region and the dynamic, the different uh, aesthetics that are uh, important in a different region would influence how iconography developed over the ages. And some of them can be, uh, you can look at them and you can see the similarities and the features of people of the, these regions. So I invite you to explore this. You can, for example, look at the Russian icon and look at the people's faces, Greek icon and people's faces. See if you can find any characteristics of those people living in those areas. And um, if you want, share this with me, share, share this with others in the comments to this video. I also invite you to like this video if you liked it, uh, if you uh, are interested in learning more about the uh, iconography, uh, please do subscribe to our channel uh, to be the um, first one to know about all the videos that we release. So what are those differences between Russian and Greek style? We talk about Greek, not Byzantine style, uh, and this will be explained in one of uh, the videos in the future. Uh, but for now, just focusing on these two. Um, in Russian style, we often see elongated figures, elongated buildings, elongated hands and features, long noses. Everything is longer than in, a real, than in real life. So you can have a look at the images of Russian icons here. And you are welcome to compare to maybe photos of people or people that you see in your daily life. Looking at Greek style, the proportion will be more uh, closer to the natural realistic proportion of real people that you see in everyday life. So in Greek style, we have much close, they are much closer to the natural proportion. You can see, you can compare those uh, two uh, styles. Another difference, another feature of those different styles in Russian iconography, uh, as you see in the at, at the surfaces, as you see the application uh, of different uh, tonal work, uh, it's much more delicate and subtle. Uh, very, very delicate, soft, smooth, soft tonal work, especially on the faces, but not only on other uh, uh, areas as well. Comparing to this, in Greek style, we have a lot of contrast, strong line, uh, often uh, very stylized, even though close to the natural uh, proportion, but very stylized, strong, almost sometimes graphical. Another uh, characteristic of Russian styles, you can look at the colors and the application. It's often very, very delicate. Colors are not as bright, as strong. Very delicate application and uh, delicate, delicate uh, um, colors. Comparing to this in Greek style, we often see very bright colors, strong colors, strong surfaces. 
so uh, in terms of composition you will see very very strong uh, contrasts another thing that we will discuss in this video is uh, application of the paint in russian style we see a lot of uh, very delicate brushwork uh, but at the same time, because of this, we can see more texture. So everything, there is more movement in surfaces. Uh, because of um, more delicate texture, more, more delicate application, so we will see a lot of layers, but a lot of thin layers. This would be in terms of, in terms of technique a lot of thin layers, which shows the texture a bit more. In Greek styles, comparing to this, we see often very solid surfaces, uh, stronger uh, surfaces, less texture. So these are three different characteristics that we discussed in this video. Uh, we are not talking about this as comparing what is better, what is not so good. It's just about the different features, the differences. But it's not about talking, this is better, this is not so good. Uh, you choose yourself and we encourage you to maybe try combination of both, explore both styles in one icon. Maybe that would be something interesting. Tell us a bit, uh, a bit about your preferences, which style you prefer, maybe you like both styles and you, maybe you like different icons in different styles. Share this with us in the comments to this video. Have a look at, at some examples uh, towards the end of our video. So this was a uh, Greek style and Russian style uh, in iconography. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe to our channel to, to be in touch, to learn more about iconography, history, styles. Um, and also like this video if this is something that you want to see more. Uh, thanks again. This was Basha, Edinburgh School of Icon Painting.